Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, just a very quick video today um, as an update um, about my eye. Uh, on my previous video I did say that I was going to see the consultant on Monday which I did and uh, thankfully good news in that he said yes he can do the operation uh, to do um, surgery on the eye to bring it back to normal uh, so that's absolutely fantastic news for me um, because it's just been absolutely horrible um, all over Christmas well since, since September really uh, it all started um, just prior to Getz um, so I've been suffering with this for a few months now and as you know I haven't really been able to do any work up here uh, because of it um, it's just so uncomfortable to try and do any modeling uh, now I had cataract operation many years ago and what they did they put um, long distance in this eye and short distance in that eye um, and as that eye is the short distance and the one which is affected um, then obviously being able to do any modeling um, is not great uh, because obviously I, I need both eyes really um, but especially the close-up um, now if I look down with my head still in this position I won't do it but um, if I do that then I get really uncomfortable pain in the eye so I have to put my head down to look um, so it's not very very good uh, hence the reason why I haven't been doing any modelling up here. Um, what I have been doing is um, in the house I've been restoring some my old dinky toys which is not too bad because I'm at the kitchen table and I can just lower my head and work away like that uh, and that seems to be okay. Anyway uh, the consultant agreed to do the operation and he said unfortunately because of the waiting list he won't free, be for about three months um, so that's okay I mean I, I expected a three month wait anyway at least excuse me um, so he said I'll write you a letter with the actual date of the operation um, in due course and lo and behold yesterday Thursday uh, a letter dropped through the letterbox and it was from him and he said that he can do the operation on the 12th of February brilliant news so that's pretty much just a month to wait instead of three months <clears throat> so that would have taken me up to about April time so to get it within a month is just absolutely fantastic so 12th of uh, February I will be going into hospital to have surgery on this eye and what they will do it's an interned eyelid bottom eyelid um, so they will cut the bottom eyelid and stretch the muscle underneath and rearrange it and sew it back up again and that should turn the eyelid back round again and um, hopefully that will be successful. I did have that operation on this eye uh, in back in 2018 so it's obviously an inherent thing I have with interned <laughs> um, bottom eyelids uh, so that will take care of both eyes then. Uh, so that's the latest update on it. So operation in February uh, the 12th, I think it was. Um, and uh, then hopefully a few days to recover and I should, in, after about a week, be able to get back to normality again at long last. Uh, it's really affected my well-being. Um, it's it's got me down to be honest with you it's it's dragged my morale right down because I just haven't been able to do much um, 
just trying to keep myself occupied as best I can. Even going on the iPad is a, um, I was going to say a pain in the bum, but it's a pain in the eye. Um, and just to um, answer comments on videos is not a very pleasant experience, put it that way. Hence the reason why I'm not replying too much at the moment, and I'm sorry about that. There's, there's really not much I can do about it except to do a few at a time, like I said in my previous video. So please bear with me on this. Um, don't desert the channel. I will be coming back um, because I've got so much to do up here. And as I've said again, um, it's the canal over there I want to finish off and then the lake. Uh, the canal is pretty much finished apart from the painting and even doing that, I've given it a go, but even doing that is, is not very pleasant. Uh, so I've given that up. But, say after February, then we should be back, well not after February, but after the operation in February, uh, I, I should be able to be back up to normality again where I can come up here and do some more stuff. Uh, because there is so much to do. All I can do at the moment is put some trains on the track and do a running session. Um, that's pretty much about it at the moment. So again, please bear with me. Um, I'm not closing the channel down at all. Um, it will come back up again in February. Um, and hopefully the first job you will see me doing is the painting of the canal over there. And then that will finish that canal off completely. Um, so that's it. Um, obviously sad news I've heard this week about Hatton's closing down um, and Worley exhibition is not going to happen anymore. Um, <clears throat> so two bits of very sad news there. Um, I personally don't use Hatton's that much to be honest. Um, I tend to use other retailers. Um, purely because I like their service. Rails of Sheffield have served me well over the years. And of course, the Curascale, uh, who I seem to be uh, getting most of my stock from these days. And I've started going back on eBay as well, and looking and buying a few things off there, which I haven't done in years. Um, but because of the price increases, um, both in new models and second-hand models then I'm finding I'm going on to eBay more and more. I haven't had a bad deal yet from anybody I've, I've bought from um, so the, eBay is looking good at the moment. Um, what else? I think that's about it to be honest with you. Um, I want to keep this video short. It was just an update. I'm absolutely over the moon in the fact that I've got a early appointment for <clears throat> my operation um, that's absolutely that's really lifted my spirits um, as I said, I've, I've become quite down uh, because of it um, so that's it um, hopefully I will do another video in a week or so's time with probably a running session I uh, don't know what yet but I'll give it some thought and see what comes up uh, thank you once again for all your contributions as regards commenting. <clears throat> I feel very guilty in the fact that I haven't replied to a lot of them, but maybe I can um, just do a few at a time and gradually whittle them down. I see them coming in and the, the lovely supportive comments um, and I can't thank you enough for that because that when I'm in a down period, reading some of those comments really lifts my spirit and makes me want to carry on. Um, and I, I, I still do want to carry on, it's just that I can't <laughs> at the moment. It's straightforward as that. But I will. I will return and uh, return with a vengeance, hopefully. So please stay with me. <clears throat> Don't unsubscribe or anything because the channel's going well. Uh, I've been getting quite a few more subscribers this month, um, so I know you're behind me um, in what I do, and uh, I can't thank you enough for that. 
Right, um, enough waffling. Um, I shall get off and uh, close this video down and hopefully there will be another one from me in a week or so's time. Okay, so bye for now and thank you for your support. Really appreciate that. Um, and as Arnie would say, I'll be back. Okay, bye for now folks. Take care. Bye.